what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology once again nice to see you and today we will discuss on the transit of the planet rahu in the nakshatra of pushya so rahu is going to stay here for long 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 time almost till the end of this year near about so this transit is going to affect all of us to the extent we have planets in the sign of cancer in our horoscope and even if we do not have any planet in the sign of cancer it is still going to affect us all right so if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below you can find it there all right and before i begin as i always say and today i must say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there okay so I will be speaking on the transit of Rahu in Pushya Nakshatra in this video. So now, tomorrow, which is uh, 5th May, I guess, yes. So on May 5th, I will be uploading another video, which I had recently recorded with Anuradha Shahdaji. And that video will be exclusively on Pushya Nakshatra itself. All right. So I will not give too much details about Pushya Nakshatra here. So if you want to know in detail, then uh, the Pushya Nakshatra video will be uploaded tomorrow. And as soon as I upload it tomorrow, I will also paste the link to that video on the description of this video. Okay. So you could see this and then you could also see that. So by that you will get more understanding. So now to give a brief overview of what Pushya Nakshatra is. Pushya Nakshatra comes within cancer in between of cancer yes we all know nakshatras what they are nakshatras are those which make up a zodiac sign yes so now all the beautiful divine qualities of the sign of cancer which which is the original house where cancer falls it's the original fourth house right fourth house is what fourth house is the house of home our comforts our emotions our mother motherly figures it is it has everything to do with peace as they say na home is where the heart is so cancer is necessarily not your home it can be anywhere it can be a place of your friend or your husband or your wife or your uh, your girlfriend or your boyfriend or anybody any place your children's place could also be cancer so depending on where you feel at home where you feel at ease where you feel at comfort yes that place is the sign of cancer so in summary that's what cancer is and in general we feel the most comfort when we are with our mother that's in general right that may not be true with everybody but for most of the people it is true even including myself so the comfort that we find with our mother we do not find with uh, anybody else in this world <laughs> and mother's love is totally selfless Yes, mother, the mother never thinks before doing anything for the child. She doesn't think that, oh, after I get old, will this child take care of me or he will he or she uh, throw me out of their home. The mother doesn't think like that. Yes, so when the mother is doing something for the child, she is completely selfless. So cancer is the sign of selflessness and it's the sign of nourishment. Yes, and that that is where the nakshatra of Pushya comes in. So the first nakshatra in cancer is punarvasu and then after the fourth charan of punarvasu is over pushya nakshatra starts so pushya nakshatra's dt is brihaspati and the sign the symbol is the cow's udder which shows milk nourishment and amazing things which come out from milk like paneer and rasgullas gulab jamuns and so many things yes burfis <laughs> so people who have prominent planets in pushya nakshatra they love to take products which are related to milk <laughs> so what will happen now is wherever rahu is transiting yes so rahu was now transiting in ashlesha nakshatra from september last year august or september roughly depending on what you take uh, you take true nodes or mean nodes so depending on that from september to this year rahu was transiting yes in the nakshatra of ashlesha so what is ashlesha ashlesha is the nakshatra of uh, the nagas the snakes it is ruled by mercury and it has very powerful uh, it has a very strong possibility for the awakening of the kundalini yes as we all know because 
the Rahu Ketu axis is defined <laughs> as the Kundalini because that is where we have to go and we have to start and we have to cross and go uh, ahead to the spiritual realm. That is how it happens because unless we get away from this, we transcend the Rahu Ketu axis, we will still remain in this material world. And Ashlesha gives us a very strong vibration of that energy which means that when Rahu was transiting in Ashlesha, whichever house Ashlesha is falling, which means depending on your ascendant, whichever house has the sign Cancer, that area could have undergone a lot of transformation and a call for change. Should I repeat? Transformation and a call for change. So for example, if you are a Cancer ascendant itself, then it could have happened that in last years, yes, in, I mean in the last months from September last year till now, you could have undergone a lot of change in your life because Lagna shows the overall life, your thought process, your thinking, all these things would have changed very much for Cancer Ascendants. And then if you were a Capricorn Ascendant, this change could have undergone in your 7th house because for Capricorn, 7th house has a sign Cancer as we all know. And if you were an Aries Ascendant, then this change would happen in the area of your 4th house itself because for Aries, Cancer itself is in the 4th house. And if you are a Libra ascendant, then this change could have been going on in your 10th house. You would have changed many things pertaining to the 10th house. All right. So now, Ashlesha shows some level of purification which is required. So now after, because Rahu goes retrograde. So now, instead of going from Ashlesha to Magha, which is Leo, Rahu goes from Ashlesha to Pushya Nakshatra. Yes, because Rahu is always going retrograde. <laughs> So now what happens is Rahu will enter Pushya Nakshatra. I mean, it has already entered. Yes, I think April end it had entered 26th or 27th April roughly. And it will stay till the end of this year. So now what happens is what Rahu represents basically. Rahu is originally the demon, right? <laughs> Rahu represents breaking taboos. Rahu represents the things which we did not achieve in the past because of which we got the desire to take birth again. As Lord Krishna says in the Gita that whatever state of being one remembers at the end of his or her life, O son of Kunti, he speaks this to Arjuna in the battlefield of Kurukshetra, that state he shall attain without fail. Yes. And in scriptures it is also said like in the Bhagavad Gita that Antakale Narayana Smriti that when at the end of your life you are thinking of Lord Vishnu, Hari, Narayan, Ram or Krishna, then you go back to the spiritual world. You do not return back. And Lord Krishna also says in the Gita that once somebody returns back to the spiritual world, he never comes back, which is there in the shloka. Yad gatva nivartante tadhama paramam mama. So Rahu represents those desires basically, which hold us down from going to God. Yes. So if Rahu is situated in a particular house, it can happen that depending on other things and depending on the whole chart, it can happen that we are very strongly obsessed about those areas in our life. Okay. So now in your birth chart, if there are already any planets in the sign of cancer, yes. So then it can happen that this transit affects you more strongly than other people okay so for example if you have venus in the sign of cancer in pushya nakshatra so then what happens is now if venus is in punarvasu or if it is was if it was in ashlesha for example if it was in ashlesha then it would have happened that after september you could have felt that there is something hidden about your relationships which uh, you did not know but now it suddenly came out of the surface it could have happened yes so if anybody has venus in ashlesha you can please write down in the comments if some purification or some sort of a transformation you had undergone within relationships or your outlook towards relationships changed yes so if anybody watching this has venus in ashlesha can write it down okay or the ruler of the seventh house if you are married and it is there in Ashlesha, you can write it down. So now suppose you have Venus not in Ashlesha, but in Pushya. Now you are going to feel that Pushya energy. So now what happens is, uh, you will feel it more. Yes, because you have a natal planet in the Nakshatra of Pushya. So you will feel that more because that part of your life will also be aff affected. So suppose 
somebody have a fabulous exalted jupiter in pushya yes because jupiter gets exalted in 5 degrees of cancer peak exaltation which is the first pada of uh, pushya nakshatra in cancer and then so if jupiter is in pushya then that means now jupiter is there and rahu is transiting over that jupiter so now basically what rahu does is wherever whichever nakshatra rahu goes rahu will pull out and bring out all the things from the past yes our deepest innermost hidden desires those things rahu bring it out brings it out from the past which means that now you will see that people will have a great desire people will have a great uh, longing to nourish people will have a great longing to do things for that karaka which is there in the sign of cancer i mean if you have any planet there so for example if you have jupiter in the sign of cancer in your original birth chart then it can happen and if it is in pushya provided not punarvasu or aslesha then it can happen that when jupiter uh, rahu is transiting over the jupiter depending on the degrees of jupiter it can happen that you suddenly develop a great desire towards occult yes towards spirituality towards your children depending on what jupiter is ruling in your chart so for example if jupiter is ruling the 12th house for a capricorn ascendant then it can happen that you could uh, and you have jupiter in the 7th house because for uh, capricorn cancer will be in 7th and jupiter rules the 12th house so if your 12th lord is in the 7th so then it can happen that suddenly inside the marriage which is the 7th house you will have a great desire to become spiritual yes which means that you will want to do spiritual activities with your spouse together and always remember because pushya is related to milk and milk products and females and uh, the uh, all these milk products white things so you will see that people uh, the business of milk and items related to paneer curd and yogurt and all these things will go up yes all the things all the industries related to milk that will flourish yes so if you are planning to open some uh, business pertaining to milk or if you are planning to launch a uh, hotel restaurant all this comes under pushya nakshatra because fourth house also is the house of kitchen so if anybody is having any plan to open a business or anything to do pertaining to food yes vegetarian food preferably because cancer is the sign where jupiter gets exalted so it is a very highly satvic sign which means that it is good if we keep the lifestyle in satva guna which means that if you are planning to open some a new venture pertaining to uh, a ve- vegetarian restaurant or or anything of that sort yes or if you are planning to uh, open a new uh, place where like one of my friend he was telling he wants to open a goshala so this is the perfect time for him <laughs> because all this comes under pushya nakshatra yes so now you will be greatly devoted towards all those things because jupiter is what jupiter at the highest level is devotion to god so that planet gets exalted in this nakshatra which is the highest of the highest of the highest nakshatras yes that is why pushya is known to be the best of all the nakshatras yes it is good for anything and everything except marriage so marriage is the only exception in this all right so except marriage anything can be done in pushya nakshatra yes why because it is extremely satvic it it nourishes anything so it's like you plant a seed there on pushya then it will grow it will grow and give you the cow's udder which is there the cow also never thinks that oh this person is giving me grass i will give milk only to this person that person is not giving me grass so i will not give milk to that person the cow never thinks like that yes <laughs> also the cow may sometimes give more or less milk depending on the owner or depending on the behavior of the owner that may be there but in general even we see when we go to villages i have personally gone to village and when i used to go i used to see that even babies of human beings they also used to directly go and take milk from the cows or the cow will never uh, uh, say or kick the baby yes oh you are not a cow's baby you are a human's baby yes so you are not allowed to take my milk so uh, it doesn't happen like that so that's why when rahu is transiting in pushya it can happen that we become overly emotional yes we overly want to nourish those things which are there in pushya 
already so now suppose you do not have any planet in cancer yes in your original birth chart then will you not feel anything no it's not like that even then you will feel whichever house cancer is in your chart okay so suppose you are a scorpio ascendant then cancer will be falling in your ninth house which means that when now is the best time for you to take to spirituality yes because now you will realize that i can become very much happy because pushya is the nakshatra of happiness in one line it is the nakshatra of happiness comfort and peace and tranquility all these beautiful traits are there so now scorpio ascendants this is the perhaps the best time more than even transit of jupiter or the tra transit of saturn the transit of rahu in the ninth house will be very good if you want to start something new spiritually yes rahu is already transiting in your ninth house but now it is going to push nakshatra so you will feel very happy if you will feel very contented you will feel very joyous you will feel very much enlightened yes to do all those things and what is pushya nakshatra actually now you see jupiter is the planet of devotion yes now devotion that planet gets exalted here which means the highest of devotion yes and how do you know what is the highest form of yoga well lord krishna says in the gita that bhakti yoga that is the highest form of all all, all knowledge all the yogas that are existing yes lord krishna says that bhakti maim param kritwa that only through bhakti you can obtain me now what is bhakti yoga bhakti yoga is emotionally trying to connect to god yes so how do you do that emotionally you try to connect to god which means that you have to read the scriptures you meet the holy people yes you listen to the stories which lord krishna lord ram and the avatars of vishnu had performed when you do all those things you develop connection to god like a person yes then you start developing emotions when you listen to the story of how lord krishna had protected draupadi how lord krishna had always time and again ensure that uh, the pandavas sustain in this world even when there were so many schemes and scandals and controversies hatched against them by Duryodhana by Shakuni by Karna and by Dushasan even then they could not destroy the Pandavas because Lord Krishna's hand was always there yes when we read the stories like how Lord Ram cried how he wept so bitterly when he saw that this vulture old vulture Jatayu he died when he was fighting to protect Sita from the demon Ravan but he could not yes and jatai was a great friend of his father dashrath maharaj so when lord ram saw that this vulture has given uh, life for me for my sake for my service so then lord ram he cried so badly yes and he said to jatai that now at this very moment i will send you back to the spiritual world and then jatai went back to the spiritual world and he never returned back into this material world so now rahu in pushya is a friend i mean this is the best 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 time to start something spiritual to go and connect to our gurus emotionally yes don't just go and sit in the lecture in some satsang program oh the guru said something that's it go and ask questions go and ask to the guru can we do something for you yes this is probably the best time that you can get so suppose your seventh lord is there in pushya nakshatra now rahu is transiting over your seventh lord yes so then you can go uh, take care of your spouse very much you can suppose your fifth lord is uh, in pushya nakshatra yes then you can go and nourish your children suppose your ninth lord is there then you can go and ask your father my dear father do i do you need something can i help you your fourth lord is there then you can go and ask your mother yes suppose your 11th lord is there you can go and ask your elder sibling yes suppose your eighth lord is there then you can go and ask your in laws yes and now because everybody is undergoing this pushya energy everybody will feel the need to nourish others care for others yes so rahu will not be there for eternity it will only be there until the end of this year roughly and then afterwards it will go back to uh, punarvasu again yes and then it will leave cancer ultimately so now all the divine qualities of cancer purity yes satto guna all those things will be will become lively and if we allow rahu to 
penetrate properly yes then the results will be wonderful it will be stupendous which means that now is the best time that we take to spiritual practices why i am saying not only because uh, rahu is transiting in purusha because saturn is transiting in the sign of sagittarius yes saturn is now in the purva shadow nakshatra and that too it is retrograde now so that means now sagittarius which is the original ninth house of the zodiac belt now it is having the planet saturn retrograde which means now saturn is going back and it is reintrospecting yes it is it has gone to a mode of introspection that what should be done in the area of sagittarius which is our belief systems yes and the natural significator of spirituality which is jupiter is also retrograde now so we are also introspecting how to become more spiritual depending on whichever houses jupiter and saturn is ruling in your chart yes so now there's a lot of retrograde energy there and now what is happening is mars has also entered the uh, zodiac sign of capricorn and from there mars is aspecting rahu so it is a very good time to push forward with the agendas of spirituality which we have which means that if we are planning to uh, do something spiritually new if you are planning to go to some holy place like kanchipuram or dwarka badrinath kedarnath or maybe if you are a muslim watching this then going to the makkah yes or maybe if you are a christian then going to the vatican this is the best time you can do you can pray to god properly now and don't pray to god that because you want results but pray to god and ask him that how can i best serve you properly yes because cancer is the sign of selflessness so when we ask god for selfless service yes when we ask god in the mood of hanuman ji yes hanuman ji is the perfect example because hanuman ji never expected anything from lord ram he always wanted to do things selflessly when so when we become like hanuman ji we will realize that our life has been filled with unlimited bliss yes so whatever houses uh, that planet is ruling in your chart which is in cancer yes and whichever house uh, the sign cancer is falling as per your ascendant then this will be a fantastic time where you try to nourish those aspects okay so for example if you are a pisces lagna then this is falling in your fifth house so fifth house is the house of chil- house of children fifth house is the house of mantras so pisces ascendants fantastic time to start some new mantras it is a fantastic time to start trying to connect with emotions because fifth house is also the house of bhakti as they say yes because it is also the house of love so for Cap- pisces ascendants this is a very beautiful time so you can check your own horoscope whichever ascendant you have yes and then as i said if you have any planet in cancer this will become more prominent so if you have planet like sun this is very good now you will feel very much alive and you will want to nourish other people you will find lot of satisfaction of your ego there if there is saturn placed in pushya that is also fabulous so whichever planet is there in pushya now you can take it as a positive sign and let us maintain a satvik lifestyle yes and try to get up early in the morning and the remedies i would suggest is that we can get up early in the morning do the mantras properly whichever mantras we are doing try to abstain from wrong things like alcohol or prostitution or pornography or those people who talk in a way that uh, propels us to go towards sinful habits let let us not go on those lines okay and then in the evening when we come we take rest early and then we can always enjoy food especially milk curd yogurt paneer and rasgullas gulab jamuns we can always um, enjoy this homely setting is very good yes let's try to stay more in the home let's try to connect with the family members so these are the beautiful things we can are uh, do when rahu transits in the nakshatra of pushya till the end of this year november december roughly okay so that is it from my side this is a fantastic transit so rahu will amplify the qualities of pushya so wish you good luck and use this transit because it will happen only once in 18 19 years <laughs> so it will come after again maybe if you are in 50s or 60s you may not see this transit again so if you are alive now and you are seeing this whatever is your age irrespective of that 
make sure you take to some spiritual practices and you focus more on your family and you focus more on connecting to people yes are making heart to heart connections so when you <coughs> focus on doing that then life will become very beautiful okay there you go if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and another thing i would like to announce is that on sunday i will be doing another session with the great vishti larson and we will be doing on marriage so as of now the topic that we decided was how to see marriage only using venus which means how to time the starting of marriage or and also the ending of marriage just using venus okay so that is the uh, tentative topic which we have and i will upload the mars retrogression video on sunday morning and the video with vishti larson on sunday night okay indian standard time maybe 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock and because of that i will, monday i will not be uploading any video okay so today i am uploading this video on friday saturday is the video of, on pushya nakshatra so if you want to see that uh no more on how rahu behaves then the first part of pushya will be uploaded on uh, saturday tomorrow and then sunday morning will be the video on mars ketu conjunction and then sunday night the video on marriage by vishti larson will be out okay so that is it from my side if you want a consultation then approach me to my website the link is there in the description below and before i end because it is about rahu in pushya so i would say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay so until next time rahu's transit in punarvasu nakshatra okay wish you good bye see you